It is Wednesday, December 4th. This is Lisa Halk and Dane Henning in for Karen, Karen and Lori. Yep. Um, Lori's on assignment. She's on assignment in Detroit. Yep. Corinne's under the weather a little bit, yep. so mm -hmm. we're going to fill in for him the next few days. We're taking over for a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Might get her back from Michigan if we go too far. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Well, I wanted to talk about um, the holidays mm -hmm. and how some people really have a hard time with the holidays. Um, I personally had a little episode over Thanksgiving. I am usually very upbeat and very happy. Uh -huh. And I just felt terrible. Just lost it. Just lost it. Just was not myself. And so I started doing some research trying to uh -huh. figure out what the heck was wrong with me. And I found some information on seasonal affective disorder, or it's okay. also known as SAD. SAD. Seasonal effect, seasonal what? Affective disorder. Affective disorder. S -A -D. Okay. 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 And it usually starts in the fall or winter months. And it's caused by a lack of vitamin D and sunshine, is what they really believe oh. causes it. See, I would have assumed it was stress or something. But I'm sure those things contribute that makes sense, to though. it. That makes sense. Uh, because they find that people that live further away from the equator mm -hmm. are more susceptible to it. So then there would be a direct correlation between that and vitamin D. That makes perfect mm -hmm. sense. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I would have just assumed, because everybody's under so much stress, having people over for the holidays mm. and buy, get, buy, uh, gift buying and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, running everywhere. And yeah. 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 Well, I'm sure that adds to it, definitely. Mm -hmm. But um, there are things we can do to make that better. So let's talk about some of the symptoms first. Okay. Um, sadness, feelings of hopelessness or worthlessness, um, loss of pleasure in activities that you normally really enjoy, um, low energy, you tend to carb, uh, crave carbohydrates mm -hmm. as opposed to meat or... Okay. Other things. Okay. And some people in really severe cases even have thoughts of death or suicide. Mm. And it is most common in women and young people. Really? And if there is a, if you're predisposed in your family for depression, that can mm -hmm. also be a factor. Mm -hmm. But what the main um, therapy for it is light therapy. And I'm sure we've probably all heard of that. And it's basically where you sit in front of a, like a greenhouse light and get your sun every morning. So you, you absorb oh, wow. that. Your body makes that vitamin D. Okay. Um, you can also take extra vitamin D, and I did start doing that. Good. Um, have you ever had any of those? Uh, well, never do I not carve crave meat. That's just <laughs> that's just a matter of I think fact. It's a guy thing. <laughs> that's just a matter of fact. But that is, that's actually quite interesting that it's more susceptible among women, women, and because I know suicidality is more common among middle-aged men. So that's actually. Very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, there's times where you feel sad. And that, you know, when the time changes and you start oh, getting, you know, you're home that. from work at like five o'clock or whatever time you get home from work and it's already dark and there's yes. not enough. No, that, that, I can see mm. that. That's because, yeah, you feel like, oh gosh. Yeah. And you don't. You get up and go to work yeah. in the dark and you come home in the dark and. There's yeah. no going, there's no going outside and, you know. Playing in the, on the yard. Lawn or mm -hmm. whatever it is, which usually makes me happy. But, me too. Uh, no, yeah, sure. I've, I've felt some of that, but except for the meat thing because I, 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 I love some protein. <laughs> you love your meat. I love protein. So yes. I, I wanted to say I did get that data from the U.S. Library of Medicine. Oh, okay. where I got that okay. National Library of Medicine. But um, I find personally just getting outside in general, uh -huh. if I can, even if it's cold and overcast or snowy, mm -hmm. if I can get out and walk in the woods or be in nature, mm -hmm. I feel that recharges me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Me too. I also found that if I made some little changes in my daily life, that that has helped. Like, um, only watching things on TV that make me smile or laugh. Comedy. Comedies yeah. or, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to watch the Hallmark movies that make me cry because <laughs> they do. <laughs> I'm not going to watch the Disney movies that make me cry because <laughs> most of them do. <laughs> but um, at just the news in general, if it's something I really need to know, I feel like I'll find, I'll yeah. find out about it the another can, way. The news in and of itself can be very depressing, it especially absolutely. with 24 seven news. If you're surrounding yourself with yeah. news all the time, it can be very quite depressing. So those are the changes focused. I'm trying to make to make that a little better. Okay. I've never experienced this before. And so it's, it's very strange to me, but we've had such a, a um, strange year in high rainfall, lots of cloudy days, yeah. lots of days you can't get out. And yeah. Around here, we've had mm -hmm. a lot of, a lot of cloudiness and stuff like that, but no, right. you, it, as you're saying this stuff, I is everything, all this stuff is coming back to me, but no, I've, 
it's it's the it's the whole rainy day blues sort of situation. It's it's valid. That's a thing because you do feel that way when it's out when it's rainy outside, and then you know even if you're inside working or whatever the case might be, but there's some sunlight coming through, you do have a sense of feeling better other than the fact that you can't get outside at that moment right. and enjoy the sunshine. But no, that's that's actually so that's quite interesting. If anybody out there is having those blues. Maybe this is what it is. And I'm going to talk about a few things that you can do in your daily life that are very simple that might also help you. So Gary's going to put a graphic up for us. And these are easy things. Exercise, even if it's two or three minutes, stretches, something. Drink plenty of water. Consider doing some meditation. Try to find things that make you laugh. Read a chapter in a book. Have three cups of tea a day. Make sure your plate is colorful. Listen to songs that make you happy, get plenty of sleep, and find reasons to be grateful and thankful. Wow. wow. So those things are all doable. You may not be able to do all of them in a day. Sure. But we can all find something on this list that we can try. Oh, it seems pretty easy. I mean, mm -hmm. I've actually been making an effort to drink more water, mm -hmm. which is because I'm usually a Mountain Dew guy and coffee. Oh, but uh, I've been trying really to bad. drink. Yeah. I've been trying to drink more water, and I have felt. I, I, I have felt better. Now, just now, just to make some clarification here, we are no shrinks. No, but, no. <laughs> so if, you, if you're clinically depressed or something, please go seek professional help. Seek professional yes. help. But uh, no, this is there is actually something to that, and it's all of these things that you recommended here, or the um, the library here is recommended. These are all good things just to do anyway. Exercise is great for you. Mm -hmm. I don't like tea, but I mean, teach their own, but, uh, <laughs> but no, all of those things, especially feeling grateful and thankful for things. There's, that's always something to, to do, mm -hmm. um, which was something that we were, we were doing last week. So, right. And I think that should carry through the whole year. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No, I think that's great. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to post this graphic that Gary just had up on our CNA TV Facebook page. If you aren't subscribed there, please go do that. Um, we may also be able to put it in the comments on the YouTube side here. So we'll, we'll get that up. And I'd love to hear from you all. What problems have you had? How have you found ways to resolve them? I feel like we can learn from each other and help each other. And, you know, especially having, you know, CNA is probably the most overworked profession in the world, mm. which, I mean, they could definitely use some of that anyway. Absolutely. Just, you know, a little bit of me time, you know, reflection and um, exercise, things like that. I mean, not that you guys don't get enough exercise <laughs> a day because you do. I assure you, you that you do. get exercise in your job. But, yeah. um, but no, it's time for some me time. Feel Absolutely. free to go do some of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, tomorrow, um, the Gentleman Poet's going to be doing a story about getting back to nature. So please join in tomorrow and listen to what he says because I think he has some very good points that you'll really enjoy. And then on Friday's show... Mm -hmm. We are going to start a new challenge for you and us. Okay. And we're going to be held accountable. Okay. To our fans. Okay. On TV. And I'm, it's going to be once a month. We're going to have a different challenge for 30 days. And we're going to do our best, whatever that is. I'm tired or sick. <laughs> you, I'm you sick and or busy. This is going to run through conference. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do this. Okay, I'm, so, I'm sure. So we will talk about that on Friday. So until then, you all have a wonderful day. We love you. We appreciate you. And we will see you on Friday. See you on Friday.